All right, this is YBR with some more BMNG Drive. Today we have a van truck, but it kind of looks like a car, so it could be a car truck van or a van truck car, or a truck van car, or a truck van truck, truck van car, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop over to this map to kind of show it off a bit, though, and then we'll go to other maps and stuff and whatnot. We're going to start right here. So first off, you have this car falling. I don't know why. <laughs> That's just the way I, where I have it to spawn. Don't ask why. Uh, what I want is not that car, however, we want the DCS pickup. So here it is. Here's the new car, and here it is compared to a normal truck. So if you look at them side by side, you see that the the bed is, for the most part, identical to the normal truck. But everything in front of that looks different. You see, the just look at the angles and the, the hood length and all that's different. And the reason why is simple. Oh, and the bumper's different too. Uh, but the reason they're different is because all of those parts were taken from a Gravel 8 series. And I don't know why it's parking brake sucks like that. It like, makes a ton of noise. So, anyways, I'm going to just kind of idle it back and forth so it's not being loud. Uh, but, as you see, the front r matches up perfectly with this thing. It has a really short hood, and it has a pretty small front window, and it has a sliding or sideways handle, I mean. And the front bumper and the lights, all of it matches up with that vehicle even the back bumper so and the lights actually too I just noticed that uh, but so what they basically did is they took that car sliced off its front and put the back of a truck onto it and that gives you this which is technically called a pickup so since it's a pickup I figured I should use it to do pickupy things right I mean it makes sense to me what I'm going to do is I'm actually trying to use it as a pickup, and I mean it. So I'm going to park it right here. Next, I don't know why the parking brake is loud. It's just one of the weird things about this vehicle. So perfectly parked. And what I'm going to do is I got my plan. All right. had to make sure I remember which key froze everything in place. So here's my plan. I'm going to take this vehicle. I'm going to jump it. Freeze time. All right, hopefully this works. And then we're going to put that as the reset point, make it a steel barrel, hit OK, and unfreeze. Oh no! That's close. That's good enough. That's good enough. I move this forward a bit, set that as the reset, and then put the steel barrel there. Look at that. It's doing truck things, like carrying a steel barrel in its back. That's what trucks do, right? So look at that. It works as a truck. The barrel looks like it's going to fall, but it hasn't yet, so that's a good sign. That's a great sign, even. It's being great. It's a great truck. Look at this thing. This barrel is staying, like, amazing. Look at that. If I could even do a flip and it would stay. Let's find out. Oops. Actually, that barrel's getting beat up. Look at that thing. It's all crunched up. This truck's holding up, though. Look at that. It works as a truck. You see the back? The tail gets a little dented, but whatever. We're going to try to do a barrel roll. Oh, we broke it. And the cargo fell out. Boo. Let's back it up just a bit. Alright. See, so I noticed the cargo gets stuck in the tailgate. I noticed that. But I don't know why. So I have a question. If it's stuck in the tailgate and you do a head-on collision, what happens? Does it still hit you or does it stay in the tailgate? Here's also your first look at a crash with this. We're going to actually miss the ramp. Miss what I wanted to do and hit the ramp. Because I'm a dummy who misses the mark. Look at that. It crashes. No doubt about it. Kind of see there's a little bit of a clipping thing with the the way the the pieces kind of overlap right there, but it's not like that big of a deal. I mean, you notice it, but it doesn't break it or anything. Let's try a slow collision that I won't miss. So right there, you see the barrel. You see the barrel. It's right there. It basically flew forward halfway into the front, and you'd be dead. That's why you always secure your gear when you're moving stuff or something. Alright, so, right, so we all can agree that it can move a tiny little barrel. 
What if we had something bigger? Like, uh, what's big? What is there that's big? I don't know. Pretty sure there's something bigger. So I'm trying to just kind of get an estimation of lining it up. Like maybe right there. Like I said, it's loud for some reason when you parking brake it, but whatever. Concrete barrier, yes. Oops. Uh, not quite the right position now, is it? That's too big anyways now that I look at it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that'll really fit. I mean a cone, but that's no bigger. I need something that's medium. Flip ramp, maybe? Where's the flip ramp? Oh, it's gone. Uh, you ate the flip ramp? I might be able to try to fit the flip ramp. Why not? Oh, it's not in the air though. Nah. Ah, well, don't. I won't worry about it. You saw it works as a truck. So it's important. Now, the next important thing is how it holds up to kind of crashing stuff. So, minor bumps. No problem. It does have a shorter wheelbase than the cars it is based off of, too. I should point that out. So, it, it would be a little uh, more unstable, I would assume, based on that. Here we go. Bigger bumps. It does not like bigger bumps. It actually flew a bit. And the transmission is broken. That is a broken car, but we can put it in the manual mode and get some extra out of it. And again, you see, yeah, the back's kind of clipping through there, right there. You see, it's kind of acting weird. But oh well. Minor. Really. Oh, we're upside down. We're right side up. We're upside down. Alright, that's a upside down vehicle. Let's see, what else can we do? Ooh, I know. How does it hold up to this? Not well, it got pushed off of it. Let me try that again. That's better. Seemed like it did alright. Wheels still work, just a little front damage I see on the front fender, but not bad. Let's do a big jump now. My wheel fell off just doing the jump. It's not a good sign. Still got two more wheels though. If we can get them to touch the ground. I think it's dead. Alright. So last time I tried to do this, it broke it. This time I went a little lower and no problem. Actually, it looks like the doors might... Yeah, the doors kind of popped off of their spot. Ever so slightly, you see. Right there, how it's wiggling and stuff. Oh, come on, camera. Work with me here. All right, there we go. You see that? Yeah, the door's not perfectly aligned anymore. That's really about it, though. Oopsie. That's stuck. All right, here's an idiot. We have uh, two spots of two cars, right? So, why don't we do a head-on collision? So that one could... Actually, you know what? For convenience sake... Let's do it like this. Put... Ow. Because it'll make things a bit easier for me. We're going to put one car at the end of this. Over here. And one car at the top. And that should make it nice and easy to... Hopefully hit what I want and get a pretty good amount of speed at it. Maybe not. Oh, God. Okay. So this one will be the one at the top. Yeah. 
thankfully lines me up the correct orientation so I don't have to try to spin around, which is good. And this one can go at the bottom. So we'll reset it right about here. Then we gotta reorientate it. So it's van truck versus van truck. Let's see what happens. Got enough speed to be interesting, I think. Alright, looks like everybody's okay in this situation. Nothing too bad happens. Kind of boring, actually. So reset that one. And how about this? We'll do a rear end collision. Move this one up a bit. Set it right there, and we'll have a little more speed. So maybe it'll be a bit more interesting. Eh, we could go farther. And faster. All the way over to here. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, bed is broken in front of this truck. Seems alright though. Not bad. Held up. Seems like it held up hitting a moving object. Wheels even still churn a bit. Look at that. And the bed looks totally intact on this one. How's this one churn up? Bed's a bit bent up. So is the front. But I think this one might be almost 100% in terms of function. Yeah. Seems like it. Let's see, is it pulling? It looks like it might be pulling to the left a bit. Now it's broken. Okay. I don't feel like going in the cheater gears, so whatever. Whoopsie. Yep, that's broken too. Alright, uh, a couple of more crashes I could do here and then we'll move on to a different map. Here we go, right here. Slide it through here. Got it. Yep, that's a shorter top. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I kind of wanted to see. Could you tell that apart from a truck still? And yeah, you could. Oh, God. A little wall. But you still could, so it's. Oh, uh, well. Try to. Make sure it fully fits. See, that's why you go twice. You get the real convertible feel now. Look at this. It's like I'm in a convertible. Okay. Still driving, though, so that's a good sign. Oh, come on. That broke it? Okay. You can cheater mode this for a bit. By cheater mode, I just use manual gearbox because it works when the normal doesn't. I think I did I say that before? I might have. I don't know why. How's that? Oh, it still looks like it'll. Look at that! It's still going. Pretty good, doing pretty good. I don't think it's much different in terms of frontal though than the uh, normal truck. I think it's just getting lucky on the crashes. Is it dead? One wheel turns still, the other one might turn even still. Look at the way the truck bed, though. It just looks perfect still. That's funny. 
Oh, it is missing its tailgate, so maybe not perfect, but... It's not controllable, unfortunately, anymore. You don't have no steering, so we'll have to do a new one. Let's do this. Let's do this crash, and then I'm going to go to a different map. It breaks the car. However, it still functions. Except for the gearbox. Yeah, maybe not. The left wheel is not working right. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to a different map to do more things with this car. Go to... Yeah, let's go to uh, Leap of Death. You know, just throw it off a cliff, see if it crunches. You know? It's always good to know how much a car crunches. And I have modified this from the different version, where you always spawn at the top, which is nice. I think. I think it should. See, it works so far every time I've tried it, but, you know, I might have done something wrong. I'd be like, oh, we're at the bottom. Might have done something wrong. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to go ahead and pick it up. There it is. Pick up. Pick up the pickup. And here we go. Slow mo. This is going to be interesting. It's going really fast. The bed holds up. That's something I'm noticing that's kind of a theme. The bed holds up. The rest of the truck is gets crunched. Kind of interesting. See how the bed holds up for the later parts of this. I think it's because the weight distribution is mostly at the front, so it's the one taking most of the burden. I mean, the bed held up compared to the front, which is a mangled mess. The bed still a bit of a bed, maybe. I don't want to touch the water. How about this? Let's throw it off backwards. Let's see if that changes anything. I think the weight distribution determines more than the angle you throw it off, but we'll see. It's going to be difficult to control this. I know it. I'm happy with that. Yeah, see, look, it's it kind of just orientates itself in the same way. And again, front gets obliterated, the bed holds up, kind of. Keep falling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. That time, the entire thing became obliterated. I think it hit the, the rocks more, um, more times because it didn't fly as far the first time. So I wonder if a truck does that same thing, like a normal stock truck, does the same thing where at first it kind of looks like the bed's going to be holding up a little bit better. Or not. Ah, one thing I know, so truck has better weight distribution. Well, no, it doesn't. I was about to say it has better weight distribution because the front's not tipping. And then it tipped. Alright, so let's see what happens. Oh, well, the bed kind of hit first because it hit the side. Let me try that again. Try to make sure I do it at a different angle so it won't hit the same way twice. Alright, so let's see if it kind of does the same thing. I think it might not be as quite of a steep of an angle. 
yeah, it actually does kind of do the same thing where the bed kind of holds up, but the front gets obliterated. So interestingly enough, that is a very good implementation of connect connecting the two, I would assume, because it matches the implementation used by the stock cars pretty well. I mean, look, it, it did the same kind of thing where the truck bed held up, the car itself did not. It's great news. Uh oh, game might have crashed. Uh, uh, yeah, I did manage to crash the game amazingly. Uh, I'm quite good at that, ain't I? Uh, so we're here back. Cut the truck again. The pickup. Do the same exact thing. But this time we're gonna do it at a different angle, different style. See what happens. Should be a little bit more gradual on the damage this time. But I'm not going to bother to slow-mo it. Unless I see something interesting. Actually, I do see something interesting. Look at the way the bed is separated from the front. It's kind of trippy. That's the main difference that compared to just throwing a normal one of these off. Is how they two separate. I just thought about that. Should have focused on that more. But oh well. Interior time. Oh, okay. Interior time, scary. Interestingly enough, it didn't crash there. Usually, it crashes when I go in the water. Or at least something bad happens. And it actually held up a bit. Look at that. You can still see. Oh, that's the front of the car. That's the truck part. And so, imagine you're driving along, and it's like, oh no, my brake stopped working, and the car's the accelerator stuck, or so. Oh my god. You're just like, you're, you're screwed. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. I mean, look at this. Like, you would die just from the G's, because look at how much the front of the truck bent forward. The seats aren't even in the truck anymore. And water. Alright, let's go ahead and pop into one more map and then we'll be good. And I gotta go there because otherwise people will say something. I say that because one person said that, but uh, we gotta just go here. It's kind of tradition type of thing, you know? We gotta throw, if we have a car, we gotta throw it off of a uh, brutal slope at least once. Probably a couple times. So let's go ahead and DCS pickup. And here we go. One thing I could do, I could throw this one off of this, and throw a normal pickup and see kind of how much of the, the trailer part uh, survives. That'd be interesting. But I don't think it'll totally obliterate it. Yeah, you see that? There's a little bit of the you see, the trailer, you can still kind of make out its shape right here. Now, I wonder if we threw a normal truck off of it, would it do the same thing? Well, what's that? Everything's all... My high! Because everything looks a little crazy. Has it always been like that? Maybe I'm just saying I'm high. Why does everything look a little crazy? I don't know. Anyways, same truck. Or, I mean, truck doing the same thing. The only difference is the front is a different shape, so it might absorb the impact more because I think it is slightly longer. But uh, let's let's just see what happens. This one I will bother to slow. Well, might as well. I was gonna say I'm not gonna bother to slow up, but why not? Either way, you're dead, both vehicles. Wow! That's unexpected. I think the, the bed and the other one held up just ever so slightly better, but... 
could just be a little bit of luck of the draw on that, but either way, they both kind of held the bet up a little bit, so that's a... There is something going on with these grounds, man. Uh, either, what was I saying? I'm, I'm too distracted by the ground. <laughs> it's not just me, right? Please don't let it just be me. Uh, because I'm not really high right now. Uh, I just mean I'm insane. Uh, anyways, what was he saying now? I don't know. This ground is tripping me out. What is going on, man? I got I, I swear, I, I, I can't just be me. Oh, anyways, I want to throw this off the cliff again, but I want to try doing it sideways. Because I think that'll get you a good idea of how the two connect. Whoa, the whole bed just shook right there. No. Feels like one of the wheels are damaged. It was not turning right. Gotta go a little slower on that. Oh, there we go. I guess I'll have to try to slide it until the very end. I'm trying to keep it sliding this whole way. I can just slam the parking brake and slide it probably near the end. So we just go boom. This looks good. Just keep turning a little bit more. That's good. Perfect. Look at that. Huh. How funny. Looks like the bed kind of held up a little bit better than the car. Because right in the middle, you see you have a little bit of it where it still kind of looks like a bed. You can still see the shape right there where the front is just obliterated to nothing. Let's try to take it up here, maybe it'll look a little easier to see things. Yeah. That's obliterated, huh? For sure. Grr, go, go, go. It's a ghost car. You can't stop the ghost car. It's going in circle. It's it, I don't know what it's doing. I'm doing that. I mean, but I don't know what it is causing on the screen. It's weird. Go in reverse now. Um. Anyways, we'll do one more throw, and that'll be the end. Parking brake was on. I couldn't figure it out. Cause I knew I was in manual, so I'm like, am I not? Am I? And I was just screwing up. I was hitting the wrong buttons. Let's watch. Obliterated. Seems like the wheels still function. Front wheels, okay, the rear wheels are broken. You know what, I think I could do that if I... Ground's freaking me out again. It's not just me, it can't just be me. Um, you know what I could do though, as I was saying, I could hit F7, we could get to the top. And we could throw it off again. It'll be a slow movement to where we want to go, but once we're there we could throw it off again. this goes a little faster. It's louder, but it goes faster. Or it could just be all in my head. So the front wheels work, the rears do not- oh god, I have no control. Oh well. I'm at the mercy of gravity now.
keep overdoing the steering. That time I underdid it. Come on. Let's go straight. I got straightened out just for this crash, and now I didn't. I actually didn't do too much damage because I slid so much you didn't get that fast. Was that my mirror? It looked like a mirror. Let's see if I can see that. It is my mirror. Hi, mirror. What you doing? Alright, until next time, this is my VR. I'll see ya.